Hello, I'm Xiao Qingdong from MD Anderson Cancer Center. Our group, led by Dr. Dong Hui Li, will report the findings on insulin-like growth factor axis gene polymorphisms and clinical outcomes in pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is the fourth leading cause of cancer mortality in the United States, with the lowest five-year survival rate in all tumors. Obesity and diabetes contribute to pancreatic cancer development and progression via insulin resistance and inflammation mechanism. Targeting the metabolic and inflammatory pathway holds new promises for pancreatic cancer treatment. However, it's unknown whether genetic variations in IGF axis will affect clinical outcome in pancreatic cancer. To fill in the gap, we examine the associations of IGF axis gene polymorphisms with overall survival or tumor response to therapy. The IGF axis consists of the ligands IGF1 and 2, IGF receptors, IGF binding protein family, and Eusmu receptor substrate family. The bioavailability of IGF is decreased by IGF BP1 and 3 but increased by IGF-BP5. IGF-2 is inhibited by IGF-2 receptor. Activated IGF-1 receptor phosphorylates IRS to interact with PI3 kinase, AKT mTOR, and ras kinase and ERK signal transducers to send metagenic, anti-apoptotic, and de-differentiation signals to promote carcinogenesis. The IGF axis is critical for maintaining tissue homeostasis, regulating cell proliferation, differentiation, and migration. We hypothesize that IGF axis genetic variations modulate clinical outcome in pancreatic cancer. We genotyped 41 SNPs from 10 genes in 333 patients with localized tumor and validated the findings in 373 patients with advanced disease. Association between genotype haplotype and overall survival of tumor characteristics were tested by Cox regression or logistic regression with stringent control for multiple comparisons. We found IGF-1, IGF-1 receptor, IGF-BP3, IRS-1 predicted overall survival in localized tumors, IGF-1 receptor, IGF-BP3, and IRS-1 predicted overall survival in advanced disease, while IGF receptors, IGF-BP3, and IRS predicted overall survival in all patients. Hypotypes of IRS predicted worse survival. IGF receptors and IRS related to tumor response to therapy and tumor stage. We observed correlation between an increased number of at-risk genotypes and decreased overall survival. The more at-risk genotypes a patient carried, the shorter survival time a patient had. We found important genetic markers in IGF-1 receptor, IGF-BP3, and IRS-1 with predictive value. IRS-1 coding 972 are mutant, can activate AKT and MAP kinase pathways to promote carcinogenesis. Because IRS-1 is an important signal transducer of IGF-1 receptor, this genotype may help to select patients for IGF-1 receptor targeted therapy. To conclude, the individual genetic variations in IGF axis predicted overall survival in pancreatic cancer. Due to difficulty in obtaining targeted tissues for gene expression profiling, the genetic markers has great clinical implications. The genotypes may help to stratify patients for IGF-1 receptor targeted therapy. Those carrying at-risk genotypes associated with reduced overall survival or poor response to chemo-radiotherapy may benefit more from such treatment. Thank you.